Hey friends, hope you are doing good. Today we are going to learn how to make time series in the C by global tide model using Mike. So let's get started. I'm showing you a mesh file of Mike just to take a coordinate from there. This is a Bethy file, which is known as mesh file. Uh, in this domain, in the southern part, if you want to generate coordinates, suppose a line series is required in the southern part. Here, where I'm showing the mouse pointer, there a line series is required in the west boundary. There is also a line series is required. And, uh, and in the east boundary, there is also a line series is required. Suppose I want to, at first I will show you how to generate a point series in the C by global tide model using Mike. Suppose I want to uh, generate predict tide in this point. So just to take the coordinates, that is x for taking the coordinates uh, from here, just to take the coordinate from here, uh, I have just opened this file. Uh, just note it down the coordinate x and y from here. x is 496446 and y is 418116. This is our distance from north the or x or y. I have no use in this file right now, so I have just cut it. First, you have to open my zero. From there, click on New, Mic Zero, then click on New File, then click to one, Mic to one toolbox, title. Then try to analyze tight prediction of height. Just click on next prediction based on global tight model. Next, I want to generate a point series which I collected from the mesh file, or you can take any point in the C. you have to give the prediction period. Suppose I want to uh, predict the tide from 1992, 1992, or 1991, 1991. Yes. So, 2018. You can predict the tide at any time, so it's not a problem. Usually, we give the interval for tidal uh, tidal uh, zone 0.5 hour, that is uh, 30 minutes. Then next. We will give BTM coordinate system. I will make another video uh, coordinate system used in Bangladesh. You can see that video. Here, the east end, as I noted before. So, I will give input the coordinates here 496, 446, and y is 418, 116. Next, BTM Tarzan. You have to set where you want to save it. Suppose I want to save it. Okay. 
Ah, let me do C. Next. Okay, so we'll get this our water level. Next. Now you have to click on execute. See your high level has been predicted. Okay, finish. Go to your desired path. See the uh, see here a DBS file has been created. This is a point series file. Mm. If you open it, this is a time series uh, from uh, from 2017 to 2018 as our time period. And the level is what level here on uh, higher level. We wrote the water level. You see, the uh, water level came here, and the uh, predicted type level is like that. So it is our uh, time series. Suppose now we want to generate a line series. Uh, to generate a line series, at first we have to understand what is line series. See in this domain there is three boundary in the sea. One is west, one is south, and one is east. If I want to generate tide level in the west boundary, I have to give this coordinate, either coordinate or I have to give this match file as input. To do that, let's see how to do it. Type prediction next. Prediction based on global type model data. Suppose 2020, I want to generate a tide level for three years. You can similarly predict area speed also. See if you want to just input mesh file here, it will automatically take this that boundary. See automatically point already came here. So this is our south boundary as from uh, number of points is higher here. I just want to generate this one, so uncheck this. South. Save. Though you don't require this uh, boundary, but you have to give the name. Just give the name, no problem. Save. No file will be saved based on that, but you have to give the name to generate the file. South. This is our south one. South. If you click on next, then execute. Status is okay. That means it is done already. Right. Yeah. Now go to the desired path. Okay. Only one boundary has been created as I uncheck now uncheck for other boundaries. So if I check this boundary, see there are 53 points. In every time scale there are 53 points and it is generated uh, 17 to 20. 20, 20. If I want to see the predict height, see there is fluctuating of water level or tide level. So it is okay. 
one thing you have to keep in mind that uh, the the one thing you must keep in your mind that the water level or type that you verified by this tool um, you have to correct it uh, for time and for datum also it is uh, actually means level datum uh, if you want to you know, correct it you have to add 0.46 to convert it into meta PWD data or you have to shift the time to uh, 6 hours as it is, uh, it is a GMT standard time. So before using uh, this uh, DFS1 file, you have to write time and data. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Keep watching my channel. Uh, I upload videos here regarding water resources in engineering, especially. Thanks.